We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. Ooh. As of as of when? Now. Jake, please don't embarrass me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that RJ, always professional Asorian team. Yep. Okay, I'm turning. Just mute your mute the Twitch stream, and then you can. Yeah. Hi guys. Up, y'all. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, everyone, they're hype. That's all we so, have to say. Goodbye, everybody. That's, yeah, all right. Stream's <laughs> over. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good night. Bye. It was a great stream. <laughs> Man, you guys missed all the good stuff. We really just wanted to say hi to the to the community because we haven't we haven't really talked to you guys in a while. So <laughs> this is now that's over and out of our hey. system. We're fucking <laughs> heading out. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Some point here. Okay. Damn, this is the night scene. <laughs> this is some yeah, this is, at night. Uh, you're actually not going to be able cycle. to see anything. <laughs> you're going to have to sleep. There's I no just, way you can live through this. I just want everybody to know that you know this is not the final build as far as lighting is concerned. There, there will be updates. You mean the black screen? <laughs> no, Henry, that's night. We already talked about this. Yeah, this is final. <laughs> this part is final. <laughs> All right. I mean, obviously, we should preface that like most of the stuff they're seeing isn't final. Obviously, it's extremely work in progress. There's tons oh, of bugs. Oh, by stuff, the way, but... uh, we have an announcement. We have an announcement about the playable. <laughs> Look who... Well, we already made this announcement. Uh, yeah, that announcement. Oh, made... Alejandra, aren't you part of our? Yeah, the pixels are great. Uh, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Is look at that pixels. Pixels not yeah, good. It's, it is pretty, pretty you... rough. Okay, let me... <laughs> I want Dakota was a name for school. We, we decided to make story <laughs> in 8-bit. Yeah, um, that's the other major announcement. <laughs> and, and it looks like you're, you're playing it on Game Boy Advance. <laughs> okay, I'm going to up the bit rate. Just a tad. Oh, Pangea with a facade reference. Nice. <laughs> we did the thing. I mean, did we do the thing? What was the thing? Okay. We doubled the bit rate. Right? Actually, more than I tripled the bit rate. Right, so. Yeah, don't you guys worry. The quality is all on us. Aaron. I'm sorry. I forgot what bit rate I had it at before. Is it better now? You said you were gonna, gonna check your settings. I distinctly remember you saying that. <laughs> I, yeah, part of checking my settings is running the stream and seeing how it looks. It looks, it looks, it looks better now. Yeah, it's much better. Yeah, 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 yeah that's much better. better. There we oh. go. There we so, go. guys, about that eight-bit announcement. <laughs> that was. That was a little bit of a hyperbole. It's gonna be sixteen-bit. So, of course, um, you all know Dakota Raptor is playable, as we announced to you on uh, April 1st, with our lovely screenshot. The legit in-game... Yeah, I don't understand understand why you guys were all upset, because, you know, it was literally truth in advertising. Pixely Dakota Raptor confirmed. (laughs) But, uh, yep, that's actually our first big announcement. Uh, Number one, this is a current build of Saurian. Uh, basically represents a lot of work in progress, uh, but we figured it was about time you guys had a look at it. Major work and, in progress. Yes, there's there's much work left to do, but we figured it's about time you guys had a look at it. Number two, um, Dakota Raptor is replacing Akara Raptor as our first playable dinosaur. It's oh. replacing Akara Raptor as a playable period. Yep. Terminal, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. A character out there will be not replayable because he's tiny. Yep. And uh, Aaron, as soon as you can find an Akira Raptor in here, uh, yeah, I think that'll be the thoughts different. <laughs> are they are they gonna <laughs> run from you? Fucking the Akiras? Yeah, the Akiras should run from you. Fucking, they, they of course, the Akiras are from the Akira Raptor. Well, yeah, I mean, so so. Oh, Yo, Aaron, turn off the debug, debug text on. Yeah, you can you can hunt him down through that. Well, that's no yeah, fun. But. This is this is kind of the comparison between Dakota Raptor and a Kara Raptor. Look how tiny and, he is. Yep. If you can if you can imagine that trying to play as Dakota Raptor 
or uh, excuse me, as a Caraptor in a map like this oh, would be. Oh. Yeah, I mean, another part of our rationale is that when you're uh, a hatchling and a juvenile Dakota Raptor, you're going to be basically the size of an Caraptor. So you're going to yeah. be getting the same gameplay that you would have as an Caraptor, yeah, yeah. just in that aspect of Dakota's growth stage. Well, oh, run, Packy's, run, Eric. Packy's, Packy's hunting you down. <laughs> so, Eric. good question just happened. Dakota Raptor can climb, right, uh, guys? Again. Yeah, as soon as Aaron's yeah. done being mauled by the package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah package. What a rude Aaron, <laughs> focus. That package you really hate to. Yeah, I just keep, messed up I that package. looking out of the window. <laughs> Aaron, please. Aaron, go find the tree. The I pole, you mean. <laughs> yeah, the quote unquote tree. Is that the pole? That package's gonna kill her. <laughs> well, I haven't died oh, yet. Oh, she got it. Can you die? Okay, Fucking. I, I, I don't know. No, no, no. You can't die yet. Okay. Not good. They, just, they just sort of rough you up. Go find the pole. I. The pole used. It's in the forest somewhere, and I don't think. Do you spawn by it still? Oh no, way I see it. Okay. Tilt the yeah. camera yeah. down. I think. Oh, you see it? Yep, I see it. Just going across. The you middle. still do spawn by it, just not right by it. Mm-hmm. Not in front of it. Yep. Yeah, just as a just as a heads up for everybody else, we haven't hooked up climbing for the majority of trees yet. We have sort of like a little white cil cil cylinder that is functioning as a tree for now. Oh, I have a climbing pole to do a house climbing testing on. But then we didn't fix the camera so it doesn't go in the terrain, but oh well. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter at this point. What the half jack, did you knock yourself out again? I'm missing. Okay. Uh, he, I don't know how he muted and deafened himself. Did, Did you run out of stamina, Aaron? Yeah. It doesn't seem to actually regenerate yet. It must be a bug. Yeah, you should wait until the sun. No, until it regenerates a little bit brighter before yeah, you climb that. Just takes a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I have to, yeah. Wait till the. I have to restart the. Wait till the anyway, sun comes up. Stamina. I'm out of it. Yeah, you don't recharge, right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, it, yeah, you just gotta either stop or just walk. Alejandro, I thought we had it so you'd go to trotting if you ran out of stamina. I... I don't think it does. I think you just go straight to walking. Uh, Aaron, don't climb well, the pole. It should go to trotting. Yeah, he re she restarted. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> so. Grumpy Packy. Really I'm obviously behind. There it is. I can look at mad props to Alejandra's player controller. Look at how smooth that thing controls. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's one of the things that we I did the, are really there looking we really looking forward to you is, you know, being able to just cruise around with all of Dakota Raptor's abilities lined up. Yeah, it's like it's really fun to just walk around as this thing. Alejandra's really doing an awesome job with it. There You're we go. Cry, there Henry. goes the coder after. And now you have a nice okay. view of the map. I'm like way behind on the stream. Oh my god. Yeah, we're, I think we're probably about 10 15 minutes, seconds behind her, not minutes. <laughs> minutes. <laughs> minutes. Minutes, guys. Jump off. I think, I I'm, like, it. I think I'm like 60 seconds behind her. <laughs> Aaron, just a quick question: Is it at all possible to up your bit rate one more time? Uh, we will see. Let's see. Climb it again. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What? Okay, I did a little bit more. If I do too much for I know I'll be at my max upload speed, which would not be good. Okay. Try moving good? around now. Because th it looks better. Yeah, that's better. Whoever did the lighting is... It, bravo, by the way. The, the oh, it's Aaron Baron. Now, this is Aaron's work, oh. and uh, these are these are Brian's animations. If you guys have been uh, following our uh, 
Twitch account, we have links to Brian's Twitch account and Jake's Twitch account. And uh, Brian worked on these, I think, about two or three weeks ago. So um, this is where I'm going to plug our uh, Discord channel, too, because we'll announce a lot of little dev streams like that from time to time on Discord. It's the best way to keep up with us. And you have you know, oh. direct communication with us. So for anyone curious, fucking Cylinder is just like a debug tree right now. We haven't actually set up the climbing with all the other no, trees. No, this is a, a previously unannounced... This is another big announcement. It's a previously unannounced um, species of tree from the Hell Creek Formation. It <laughs> has no uh, canopy. or uh, no, no, The no Greeks leaves. actually were present. Uh, they invested... <laughs> it's just a column. They put, they put <laughs> columns and pillars all over the place yeah. for dinosaurs to climb. Yep. So... Aaron, why don't you go see if you can find a Rex? Have some fun. Oh, yeah. It's pretty have fun a, to get chased by the Rex. I want to kill him. Yeah. Turn off the debug Ooh. text. Aaron, what about your immersion? I need to find the AI, otherwise we're going to be here forever. But your immersion. I'm so Turn, concerned about it. Aaron, you need to sniff it yeah. out. Yeah. Try, uh, try I think you can't do that with the Akaro Raptor, I guess. I thought I put, I put a scent note on the Akaro. Someone said they weren't working. Oh. Huh? This is where our water is supposed to be, but it's... Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Gross. I'm sorry. What did, what did you do? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, it's like I, I was working on the water just yesterday. Oh, okay. Oh, no worries. But, that's, 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 okay. that's all good. Okay. <laughs> Half Jack, what is this? Like your, your first week? Can, yeah. <laughs> if you haven't finished the game by tomorrow, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. We're going to talk <laughs> about your involvement in the project. Yeah. <laughs> like we've, we've done all we could, but half jack the rest of this is on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fuck. Rex. Yeah. I mean, night is very dark. Yeah, die, but... Is it a night Rex but... attack? Yes. Oh, dude, I want to see how this looks. I haven't seen the Rex chase you at night yet. Of course it's yeah. at night, dude. That's kind of. Oh. Cool. Ah! Yeah, I just. I didn't even see it. It just blended right in. Is that, and I'm out is of that an adult Rex? Yeah, it's yeah. an adult. Oh man, now look at how gonna, scary that looks. Our, That's so yeah, great. A fighting fight. Oh, and you made the moon bigger. Excellent. Because back then the moon would have been closer. Yes, yes, it would have. Rex, we're gonna wow. fight in our bite fight. If I stop clicking outside the window. <laughs> Are you there really gonna try to kill the Rex? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna kill her. Not like the <laughs> Can't kill her yet. Look at him try though. I love his little dumb mouth gaped open. I need to stop. Ah! Get in my mouth. <laughs> but I, I was gonna say so dead. Aha! And I'm in him. The night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> no. Nah, yeah. Um, someone asked, will the different dinosaurs have different levels of night vision or vision in general? Because for predators, it was more crucial to have spatial forward-facing vision Jesus, for herbivores. It wasn't as. Aaron, way to go. You've basically ruined oh, everything. Guys, all right. No, now, disclaimer. <laughs> that will never happen in the <laughs> no. final game. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's like remotely possible that it could happen. Like the systems will be in place to allow it to happen. Oh, but there's Aaron, oh, now, you're now you're smelling things. Yeah. Oh, so, look at that. So that's fucking little little scent notes that they drop um, that you can detect by sniffing. And Is that sniff food? Like this. Sniff. No, that's yeah. that's like very early prototyping for scent mechanics. Yeah, so you'll be able to track animals down with that. She hasn't used it at all because Aaron is bad at presenting well, the game. But fine, I'll go find someone else. Where's all the go? Go find a trike or something. They drop a lot. Huh. I'm not seeing any AI. You could restart. Do you have the debug off? I tried turning it back on, and I okay. There, I need to go through this foliage and undense it. Um, I don't. Oh, there, got it working. Someone's asking about how they can give us money. We should, we should talk about that. <laughs> yep. Well, that's yep. kind of one of the other big announcements. Is that um, one of the reasons that we're ready to show you guys our progress at this point? is because we feel we've made sufficient progress on development that we are very close to being ready to kickstart. As in, we are looking to kickstart 
um, in the second half of May. So about five to six weeks away at most. So for those of you who are ready to donate, hold on to your money just a little bit longer. Um, hold on to your butt. Some... <laughs> that, that too. Don't, don't ever lose your butt. Butts are, butts are a terrible thing to lose. By the way, don't forget to tell your geeky friends that are into dinosaurs about us. Like, you be, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. So just to give you guys an idea of you know what we're looking at, we're estimating a price point for getting a copy of the game at about fifteen dollars US. Donating fifteen dollars to Sorian, should our Kickstarter be successful, we'll get you guys um, access to the game. Um, we've planned out a variety of different backer rewards. So just because you you don't have to stop at fifteen if you don't want. Um, and I would actually recommend you guys check out uh, the different backer levels we do have. We have some really awesome uh, rewards, including, oh, yeah. um, uh, let's see, we've got uh, the original soundtrack to the game will be one of the options you can get. Um, big one is that uh, Tom and RJ together have been working on putting together a field guide art book which is basically going to consist of uh, concept art and other um, artwork that's been put together to help us create the game um, combined with uh, kind of a field guide format. So you get this neat little um, field guide to Hell Creek. And um, one of the other things that we're really proud of is that we've been uh, collaborating with a bunch of other paleo artists and we have a significant number of guest artists who are going to be contributing art to this art book. So kind of like a little mini field guide mixed with a bit of uh, All Your Yesterdays where people have um, Saurian-themed paleo art that will be a part of this. Um, on top of that, we've got um, a couple other pretty cool options. And... Uh, Dear God, Aaron, what did you do to a trike? <laughs> yeah, uh, the ragdoll on the trike. The ragdoll on the trike is not final. <laughs> that is not the, the Aaron, why? ragdoll. Aaron, remember when I said you you were bad at presenting the game? That was a challenge to do better, <laughs> and you have only taken that as reason to do worse. Okay, I didn't know the trike ragdoll was was not. Yeah, to be fair, it was not the T Rex ragdoll. <laughs> Yep, and uh, I saw someone ask if the guidebook will be physical or digital. Um, at one donation level, it will be a digital copy. Um, at a higher donation level, you guys will actually be able to get a um, physical soft cover version of it. So, yeah. I'm glad you guys like the understory. It's kind of been something we've been keen to make sure it looks right. Right now, I think it's a little bit too thick because it's starting to get, you know, hazardous to try and navigate. I just think it's funny that people are, like, praising this one because um, it's, like, a temporary one. Yeah, like, <laughs> literally, 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 literally. This, is, this is absolutely a whip for us. I mean, we're going to redo this at least once, maybe so more times. So there's the trails. Fucking, yep. Yeah. Didn't we say yesterday we had like a third of the foliage that we're going to have in it? Yeah, about a third of the fo third of the different foliage types are done right now. Um, so, and also, I guess, kind of going back a bit to the Kickstarter, in addition to um, backer awards, all of which are really cool, um, and we have some pretty high-level rewards that um, we'll be sharing with you a little closer to the Kickstarter um, that I think a lot of people are really going to like. Just have to iron out a couple final details. We've also got a variety of different stretch goals in mind. These are if we exceed um, our base funding level. And uh, base funding level is basically um, a realistic goal that balances the need for us to bring in funds to be able to actually kickstart our work and, and uh, accelerate our pace of development. Um, and basically that, that goal gets us the very basic release of Sorian. Um, our stretch goals then expand on that to provide uh, other features that, you know, while are really awesome and are really cool, are not um, the core of the game, which is what we believe we need to get out first. So we're talking about things like 
um, character customization, uh, dynamic events like flooding, wildfires, and severe storms. Um, we're looking into doing a game mode that's basically post-impact survival. It's like 